Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get and showcasing the Crying Child Tower exclusive. But before I keep going, shout out of the day goes to second390. They being first at commenting first. All right guys, the Crying Child, the wah, womp womp child. It's actually very easy to find. Right over here, you will see exclusive crying child. If you go ahead and step on it, though, you're going to see this. Now, there are two ways to get this character. Not only do you get the crying child, but you get 250 coins and three remnant. But the two ways you can get it is either one, you use Robux, 799 Robux, or you use in-game money for 40,000 coins. That's right. So... If you're a big grinder and you play this game a lot, this is probably no problem. However, if you're not like me, then, you know, you might either have to think about, you know, spending some Robux. Now, once you have bought it, you want to make sure you go here to items and open up the crying child. You actually don't get the tower itself until you open it up and it's in your unit. So there he is, the Womp Womp Child. There is, okay, so his type is slow, damage is zero, range 15 to 22, and cooldown is 0 0.1 seconds. So, now I'm going to go ahead and showcase you guys the Crying Child Tower so you can decide if you want to go ahead and buy them, okay? Alright, so we're in the game, so what we're going to do is go ahead, farm a little bit, so then we get enough for the Crying Child. And just like that, we have enough. Crying Child is not super expensive. It's 800 to place down. So let's see what we get here. So we're going to go ahead and put him right here. So what the Crying Child does, it has a slow effect. Okay, so damage is always zero. It literally just slows them. And the way you know that is by seeing those ice cubes. It is crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so good. So the next upgrade is going to be a thousand points. Okay, so we're, we're going to go ahead and cook a little bit. We're gonna, all right, so we got a thousand. Boom. So the range just keeps increasing, essentially. It doesn't really make the slow effect any slower, but it does help, uh, I guess, you know, slow down freaking Foxy, bro. He's like, whoa, so we got Scott. Oh. <gasps> Scotty boy. All right, next one. Boom. Upgrade. So the range just keeps getting more and more. The cooldown is essentially consistent. It's just always a slow effect. Always happening. It doesn't change. Um, let's see. We got enough. Boom. So range is now to 22. Wait, can we just keep going? Wait, what? It doesn't say it's maxed out. Interesting. That is very interesting to see. What if I go again? Okay, so... I feel like level 4 to then level 5, nothing changes. So, I probably want to waste my money then on going from level 4 to level 5. Unless there's some other hidden effect that I'm not seeing here. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. There are other units that are slow-based. However, I feel like this one's pretty good. Like, the range is solid. That's some good range. Also, it's it's still crying child. The womp womp child is what I like to call it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down good old Scott. Good old Pappy. Daddy. <sighs> ah, how you doing, Dad? The Scott Tower was also an exclusive one as well. Um, but that one has long passed. I wanted to do a video on it, but I wasn't sure. But then I saw the, the crying child. I was like, the poor child needs a new home. He needs a family. And what better family than you guys? So essentially, right now, the crying child is not needed. We're also on medium difficulty. Now, I wonder if I can I place oh, I can place more than one. I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, so yeah, let me just double check. So level 4, damage 0, 0, range 22, 22, cooldown 0 0.1 to 0 0.1. Do it again. Yeah, nothing changes. So that's very interesting. 
So yeah, there we go. It wasn't too hard. Again, we were on medium difficulty. But I think, let me give you guys my opinion on the tower. So, is it worth 700 and, what was it? 900, 700, yeah, 799 Robux? Maybe not. The reason why I say that is because there's plenty of other units that have slow effects. Like, for instance, where, where are they? Um, no, 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 there. The, the shine, my amalgam right here is a continuous slow. Now, this one is more expensive. So, the reason why, the only reason, I think two reasons why I think Crying Child would be worth it is one, it's cheaper to place down so you can get that slow effect out of the gate and control the game. Two, it's also an exclusive tower. You can get yourself the amalgam whenever you want, okay? It's an epic. While the crying child here is a secret alongside with Scott and Mangle, okay? So, it, it, that two reasons up to you completely. If you got the Robux to spare, go for it. If you got the coins to do it, do it. Why not? Because an exclusive crying child. Anyways, though, that's all for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the Badge Hunting Squad today. Use star code Digi whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and go love badge hunting. Bye-bye.